They taught me a lot today. We had a good time. Beautiful day to be in or outside today even. I know. Exactly. I know. A lot of the kids were probably staring out the window. Like, yes. <laughs> Daydreaming. In Jack's oh, class. Just outside. like we were. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It was the perfect day to get outside. Not too hot, not too cold. And look at this picture. Perfect evening right now in Aniston. Feeling so comfortable outside. And it's going to be a little chilly overnight tonight. 72 degrees right now. Low humidity. So we are going to cool down very effectively this evening. Already in the low 60s in Coleman, a little warmer down to our south, 72 in Clanton and Shelby County sitting at 74 right now. Nice and dry, not a drop on radar. We are seeing a few high clouds out there, just cirrus clouds. That's about it across the southeast. This is all because we have this area of high pressure up to our north funneling in really dry air out of the north. So this will keep us nice and dry for the next day. But overnight tonight, this area of high pressure going to start to back off a little bit and make the way for some showers by the beginning of the weekend. We have freeze warnings up to the northeast. So hey, it's cool here, but thankfully not frigid cold. We will have some cold air on the way though. By tomorrow, not going to be quite as nice as today, but still very comfortable in the upper 70s. You're going to notice more cloud cover tomorrow, a little bit moist, more moisture, humidity to work with tomorrow, not in the form of rain, just in cloud cover tomorrow. But that all changes by the time we get to Saturday. So you'll see the increase in cloud cover on Futurecast all ahead of our next weather system. This is a cold front that's really going to cool us down by Sunday. Day. It'll be approaching the area by Friday evening, but the good news looks like Friday is going to be fine. Friday evening, if they have some high school football games, not going to see the rain. With the exception of far northwest Alabama, ahead of this front, we could see a few stray showers, but the rain is likely not going to arrive until overnight into Saturday. So notice this is at 5 o'clock in the morning. Here comes the front. So it's going to be a wet morning for many, but we will start to clear out throughout the day. So in central Alabama, we'll be done with the rain by dinner time. This is at 5 o'clock in the evening and also starting to clear out in Knoxville and in Oxford. So I do think we could have a few stray showers possible for the Alabama-Tennessee game. It will be comfortable and in the low 60s, but it should be dry for the game as well at Ole Miss. I know that game's a little bit earlier, so there is that slight chance of seeing a shower. And while it's not going to be the greatest day in Birmingham during the day, by the the evening should be fine for the homecoming UAB game against North Texas. So we will gradually clear out on Saturday and then we're going to be much cooler. By Sunday morning, we're going to be in the low 40s, well below average with temperatures struggling to get to the mid 60s by Sunday afternoon, even with.